I'm Andrew Lewandowski. And I'm David Martinez. And this is your Better Beer Authority. I bet you're asking yourself, where are you? Where's the rest of the crew? Well, to be honest, we're doing something a little bit different today. We're trying a new segment. We're calling it the BBA Solos. What it is, with all of us here at the BBA, we all do have different appreciations in the types of beers that we, that we like to drink on a regular basis. So we thought, well, let's set something up where each of us could really highlight and talk about certain beers that they like, or maybe new beers that they want to try and just try on their own without putting it in front of a blind taste test panel. So we're gonna, you should see this from each of us. You know, we'll each film you know, a couple at a time. You should see it probably on a weekly basis. Our plan is to put these out probably every Friday is our hope. So hopefully you guys like it. And you know, it's a little bit different kind of highlighting you know, differences that we enjoy and uh, figured uh, David thought it'd be good to kick it off with uh, something pretty big that, um, you know, everybody in the craft beer world pretty knows, pretty much knows about. Hetty Topper. So what do you want to talk about with the Hetty Topper? Why, I mean, beyond obviously being a big beer that, you know, everybody knows, uh, any other reasons why we really wanted to pick this one to start off with? Well, what I'm seeing about this beer is the fact that it's a beer that's obviously very you know highly sought for mm -hmm. high, super hype and i can honestly say this is one of those beers that definitely does live up to the hype agreed agreed because actually the first time i had it was when you had traded for it probably about a year or two ago maybe about well, two years ago yeah yeah something like that and it really did live up live up to the hype and yes we do know on it it does say pretty clearly drink from the can but honestly, you can still get a lot of that aroma. I mean, the taste is still right there. It's still a fantastic beer. And obviously, if you don't know about it, Petty Topper is just a fantastic double IPA from the Alchemist in Vermont. And this is one of those where, you know, ever since it came out, it just made a huge splash. Um, and I don't know anybody who hasn't tried to trade for it or try to have it at some point because it is so highly sought after. So... I mean, what can you tell me, you know, what do you like about the aroma and the appearance? I mean, aroma-wise, I mean, you can definitely tell it's uh, it's got the fruity smell to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do pick up some, like, orange peel in there, too. Um, as far as the taste, I mean, it's such a balanced beer. I mean, I really cannot put a taste to it. Like, I cannot say, oh, this, you know, for all the say and slash floaty slash uh, um, citrusy. But yeah. to me, it's just really, it's just, it tastes really well. I mean, it's just a perfect balance of, um, you know, the malts and the hops. You know, you really don't get a lot of bitterness that overstays. And it's, it's just very drinkable. I mean, this is, this is definitely a very, very solid beer. Exactly. I, I definitely enjoyed it the first time, and it's uh, always lived up to that. I mean, in appearance-wise, yeah, obviously when you drink it from the can, you don't, aren't always supposed to know the appearance the way they talk about it. But it is, it's a hazy, nice yellow still just very very gorgeous and i mean I, I i understand they want you to drink it from the can because they want to hold into some of that aroma but still it's a beautiful beer that you know needs to be seen and again he mentioned it taste wise it's very balanced i do pick up a lot of that citrus notes and i think you know obviously if you haven't tried this you need to trade for this one without a doubt because i mean for me it, i mean it's easily a nine um, without a doubt, I mean, it could very well be a 10 in this case at the same time because there's nothing about this beer that personally I don't like. I love everything about, you know, the aroma, the taste, and everything. We're not getting paid by the alchemist to say this. Right, right? exactly. <laughs> Although if they want to send us some of that, I think it's holy cow, then by all means. Um, but me, myself, I'll give it also, uh, it's between a 9 and a 10. I mean, this is definitely one of the top beers for me. Um, this is probably the third or fourth time I've, that I've traded for it, and uh, I've always enjoyed it. And I was thinking, oh, you know, after having it, you know, from originally like two years ago to now, my tastes have changed and I might not like it as much. That's not the case. I enjoy it just as much, if not more, than I did from uh, the first time I had it. So, again, something that we really like. We hope you enjoy this segment because they're going to be pretty condensed, smaller, uh, smaller uh, videos here. But again, Hetty Topper, I mean, it's easily a 9, even a 10 on the, on the BBA scale. So hopefully you guys have tried this. If you haven't, certainly try it. And again, I'm Andrew Lewandowski. I'm David Martinez. And this has been your Better Beer Authority. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys.
Better beer with Auburn Head. Better beer with Auburn Head.